Is it a good idea for your server machine to constantly be changing its IP address because it's getting a new one from DHCP server? No. No. Does it make sense for your domain controllers to have static addresses? Yes. Very much so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my server machine with a static address. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to leave the wizard in the background. I'm not going to cancel. I'm just going to leave it sitting there. So basically, all I need to do is do an IP config. And those of you watching SmartLearn, this is what you guys need to do as well. So you've got here, my particular IP address that's being used is 203.203.203.22.255.255.255.0 with a default gateway of 203.203.203.203.203. Must emphasise, those of you watching SmartLearn, you are going to have all sorts of weird and, fun of ad weird and wonderful addresses. If you've got your own DHCP server, then you'll have whatever, D whatever IP address you've given out using your DHCP server. But we've not covered that, so I doubt you're doing that at the moment. What you've probably got is something called an APIPA address which will start with 169.254, something along those lines. It doesn't really matter what the IP address is, as long as when we set it up now, we set it up as a static address, not as a, not as a dynamic address. So that's my address. How can I turn that into a static address? Someone help me out. You've answered too much, Adrian. Someone else help me out. Hanif, help me. I need to convert this dynamic address to a static address. How do I do it? Hanif needs help. <laughs> Let's get our consultancy teams in. Chris, you're the consultancy team with Hanif. I've employed you to come and help me out with this particular task. Okay, go to the start menu. Okay. Right click on uh, My Network Places. Right click on My Network Places. Uh, go to Property. Down to Properties. Okay, right click on Local Area Connection. Right click on Local Area Connection. Properties. Down to Properties. Okay, and uh, click on TCP IP, which should be on that list. Good, TCP IP. Okay, and you set your static address there. Just put it in here, yeah? Well, you have to click the radio box. Click on that. And type in your address there. Excellent. So put in my address here, which is 203, 203, 203. What was it? 20? 22, I think. 22. Let's just check. 22. Cool. So 22. Subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, Default gateway of 203, 203, 203, 203. Happy? Yes. Good stuff. Turn around face the wall. I'm joking. <laughs> We've God. done that too much. <laughs> cool. Click OK. But hang on. Surely this is going to mess up the DHCP server then? No. No. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily at all. But we'll worry about that when we cover DHCP server. All I've done literally is change this from a dynamic address, in other words, one that was given to me by someone else, to a static address. That's it. So now it won't change. That's the key point. Domain controllers, not good for the IP addresses to be changing. You with me? Mm -hmm. Not good at all.